the more people see of me, the more people are going to vote for me. And I think the more people see the other two candidates, the less people are going to vote for them. Why? Because L London's number one issue, for example, is crime. And nobody knows more about crime and how to tackle it uh, than I do. And I've got a track record of reducing crime in London. So are you saying that your track record um, is equal to or, or more than Ken Livingstone, who's been doing the job of mayor for eight years? Well, Ken started very well in the first four years, but in the last four years we haven't really seen much improvement. In fact, the British Crime Survey shows uh, no decrease in crime over the last four years. He may have started well, he stagnated, it's time for a change. OK, well, crime is just one issue, and you are up against two huge personalities. People know them as Boris and Ken, they know them by their first name. What's your trump card or your key policy that's going to make people think, do you know what? I'm not going to vote for Boris or Ken, I'm going to vote for Brian Paddock. Well, I think it's, it's not just about policies, it's about who I am. The fact is I've, I've managed multi-million pound budgets, I've managed teams of tens of thousands of people. I have delivered public services to London successfully, uh, which is more than you can say about the other two candidates. One area that you do differ from both of them is the congestion charge. Explain just what you're planning on doing. OK, first thing to say is it's the package of measures that Ken Livingstone is proposing that I'm opposed to. Mainly the fact that he's going to exempt small cars from the congestion charge. Anybody who travels in the central zone will know there's far too much congestion as, there, as it is without exempting uh, yet more cars from travelling in the central zone. What I'm proposing is a £10 boundary charge. People are long distance commuting into London and clogging up the streets. Anybody who looks at the A3 or the A4, any of the major routes into London every morning will see thousands and thousands of cars coming into London. So people who them... can't afford to live in London and live outside of London are going to be penalised for driving in? No, what we're going to do is they have to be aware of the cost to congestion, the cost to the, to the environment of driving into London, and we want them to use public transport instead. The revenue that we're going to get could be as much as two and a half billion pounds a, ye uh, 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 a year. We can invest that into public transport. Right, so let me just be clear. You're keeping the central congestion charge. You're scrapping the Western extension. You're not going to have a 25 pound um, charge, congestion charge for gas guzzlers. That's going to be a 10 pound London-wide charge for people coming into Greater London. But anybody, Have I got that right? But yeah, but anybody who lives in London will be exempt from the charge. We are talking about people who drive in from Brighton who cause four and a half times as much pollution as a gas guzzler that's driven from Chelsea into Charing Cross okay. and back. Let's talk about some of the people using uh, public transport. Are you going to take away the Freedom Pass uh, from pensioners? Both Boris Johnson and Ken Livingstone have pledged that they're going to allow 24-hour free travel for pensioners and people with disabilities. Well, I'm going to guarantee the Freedom Pass. Even London, if London Council say they're not going to fund it anymore, I will fund it as mayor. And How? I'm going to... How will you fund it? Well, there are plenty of savings to be made. Ken Livingstone has more press officers than Gordon Brown does. Um, he spends millions of pounds on advertising his own face and his own name around London. Any Londoner will tell you that. But people so there is... do know who he is. They d yes. But what Londoners want, they want a mayor who is concentrating on making life better for them, not somebody who is concentrating on massaging their own ego.